Savior of the whole world. Giver of salvation. By his stripes, I'm healed. My God is awesome. Today I am forgiven. His grace is why I'm living. Somebody ought to praise his holy. Ready, Lord? Ready? Ready? Okay. Ah, oh, excuse me. May I have your attention, please? Let me get your attention one minute, please. Well, for several minutes. Today we are here to honor my Aunt Shirley. Uh, we appreciate you all coming out to be with us. At this time, we need all we can to lead, uh, to lean on. All right. So today, uh, first off, let me uh, be remiss if I didn't give my honor to God, who has a, a my life and the architect of this great universe of ours. We ask that He uh, walk with us, keep us strong, and most of uh, most of uh, all, let's keep each other strong. All right. This time, where family really need and friends really need to lean on each other. All right. God just gonna ask for a little help. Yeah, so let's lean on each other, help him out. So, all right, we're gonna start off today uh, with a scripture reading by Talena Love. Uh, Hello, family and friends of my uh, dear Aunt Shirley. Today's scripture reading comes from Ecclesiastes three one through four. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearer, reader, and doer of his holy word. Amen. Thank you, Talena, for those very, uh, very nice scripture and how proper it is for today. Um, we're going to keep on going. We, uh, I look out at the crowd, and I'm, I'm just overcome. It's, it don't it show you, it don't have to be a large crowd. 
just a small intimate crowd. And I know the people that's here, they're here because they love, like I, my Aunt Shirley. And I just can't thank you enough. So I'm, I'm sorry if I had to backtrack on it, but it's very important to me. All right. Uh, we're going to start off, have a prayer by Charles Howard. I'm sorry, my uncle Charles Howard. I still have to keep respect. That's how we brought up. <laughs> Father God, our creator and our maker. Dear God, we know everything happened for a reason. You make no mistake. And Father, I thank you, Father, for you being with Shirley on earth. All those years she was here, dear God. Father, we thank you. You know she wanted your children. Shirley confessed to you early in a, and she she loved you, dear God. She lived for you. She spread it the word. She told others about it. And Father, to show you, she was, she was so, she loved you so much, Father. Look at all the people that are here today. And Father, even yesterday, so many of her co-workers and friends, not just relatives, but they came to testify, testify how Shirley touched their life. They said she was a sweet person, and they could not believe that she was sweet all the time. But we told them, we told her, dear God, yes, Shirley was like that. Shirley loved you, and she loved people, and she didn't mind telling others about you, dear God. So, Father, we know that Christians, we're not like others. We have hope. Father, we know we have a special place to go to. We know that, Father, that Shirley started to make a reservation a long time ago, dear God, when she was telling folks about you, dear God, when she was spreading love, dear God. She was doing it then, dear God. And, Father, we're not here for, we're not here to, to, to forbid, for just a moderation or just to feel bad. But, Father, we're here happy for Shirley because, Father, I can see her in my spiritual mind, dear God. She's up there with you, dear God. This is a celebration. And, Father, I thank you, dear God. And, Father, we thank you for this funeral parlor, Serenity. We ask, Father, that they bless and increase, dear God, because they are blessing to others, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 All right. Uh at this time, we're going to open the mic up for remarks. Uh, please limit your remarks to two minutes. We are trying to keep this short, intimate, but full of meaning. Um, so we ask, the family asked that uh, you keep your remarks at two minutes, and let's be obedient and abide by their wishes. Good afternoon, family. We come here um, today just to celebrate with you all. Um, Shirley was our beloved co-worker. Um, excuse me, I'm a crybaby, so um, forgive me. Um, we love Shirley. Um, we love Shirley's spirit of planning for us. Um, she took us around the world at Christmas time. She celebrated with us for every little occasion. We work at the VA. Um, it's a couple of us here today, and um, uh, we worked with Shirley for about the last 12 years almost, and um, it's just a joy to be with her, not as her, um, I was a supervisor, but she was my friend as well. Um, we laughed together. Um, she was a friend and a sister to me as well. Um, she was a person of dependability. Um, I like that. If I can say that about her as a friend and as my employee, she was a dependable person. So you can't beat a person with their dependability. Um, she had integrity about herself. If she did something and, you know, some mistake, she owned up to it. I love that about her 
as a person and as an employee. She owned up to whatever it was, be it good, be it bad. That was Shirley. Um, I heard her cousin back to call her Dean. So, you know, I, I love that about her. She was genuine. She had a sweet, caring spirit that um, conveyed to everybody. I think when I very first met her, she always embraced you with hugs. That's love. So you look at that. Her niece gave us um, Ecclesiastic. That's one of my favorite scriptures. Shirley did that. She was born. She died. She laughed. She weeped. She mourned. Shirley did everything that she could have done in her 67 years that God gave her grace to do. She never once was a complainer. She gave us joy when she was there. She didn't have to agree with everything, and she'll tell you in a diplomatic way, nah, but that was Shirley. That's all right, though. You know, you, you have that. You have to respect that in a person. And so Shirley brought to the table everything that God gave her to bring to the table to make uh, us in telephone care who we are. So we're going to go back to work on Monday, and we're going to be better because of us knowing Shirley, not just knowing her on the outer. We knew her intimately. So we thank God for that and we thank God for the family today and you all we are you all are in our prayers because um losing that glue I, I, I feel like she was y'all glue because she was our glue. So um you all will be in our prayers and in the days to come and we just ask God to strengthen you all and we ask God to strengthen us all because we all lost a valuable jewel. Thank you. Amen. All right. Thank you so much for the beautiful words. And uh, she was a dependable auntie as well. <laughs> and if, if I might add, I, I, I had a long drive from Georgia, and so my eyes might be failing me a little bit. When you got up and walked up out of here, y'all almost not had uh, my ceremony because you favor Shirley. I'm sitting there. I looked at you twice there. Wow. Good grief. It might just be my eyes, little road word, okay? All right. Thank you for such a wonderful word. Anybody else? Feel free to come. Anybody else? All right. This here, this here is my sister. Words cannot express the deep loss that's going to be in our voids, it's going to be in our hearts. But um, Shirley was not only a good worker and a good planner, planning was her passion. If you've ever been over to our house, you would know. <laughs> she, is, uh, she was always a planner and always liked to do something good. She was so much fun. She had, if she got a thought in her mind and then it's coming out of her mouth, she was getting ready to do it. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of like the way Aunt Shirley was. We used to call her Dean until she went by her adult name, Shirley. <laughs> so now we're, you know, now we get at a point in our lives where we have to say goodbye to Shirley. But she's gone, but she's not forgotten. She will always be in our hearts uh, going from now on. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little difficult here. And also, when she planned the y'all parties at y'all school, at y'all job, I was the counter, count on person to come out and help her do de decorations and stuff because she loved to do it. And she not only loved to do decorating, party planning, travel planning, she was a planner. So she planned everything out and always wanted to be inclusive, always wanted everybody to be included. So. She took notes of um, what you liked or what you did not like, what you wanted and what you did not want. It. She was that kind of a person, you know, always had to get um, all the information about not only family but also friends. She included them as well. And so me and Dean was really close in age and everything. And there's so much more you can say about Shirley, but you can't say that she wasn't a doer. You can't say that she... Um, did not give her all when anything she done she jumped in wholeheartedly and so and that's one of the things i most appreciate about my little auntie hate to see her go but know that god loved her best and she's uh, in a restful place 
I'm not going to keep going on. I'm going to say thank y'all for listening to my, to my spiel and what I feel. And thank y'all for being here. There you go. That's a good job. Yeah. I knew she'd need one of these. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. That was, uh, if you didn't know Shirley, she, she loved a good joke. Boy, she can uh, joking and laughing um, was another one of her traits. She loved to laugh and joke with her family. Uh, and if you knew her and was around her, you was family as well. So you're right, family. All right. All right. Uh, any more remarks? No one else? Well, I'll take this look. Yes, go ahead, Charles. Uncle Charles, sorry. I would like to say to y'all, the Lord has been good. He's been good to this family. My, my, my parents started out with six. When we got down to three, I say, Lily, Shirley, we need to start the fellowship. Time is valuable. And mom was wanting us to be together as a family. So that's how we started this thing. Shirley, we couldn't get her out of Dallas. She loved Dallas. She was making good money, corporate money, I believe. And uh, we kept telling Shirley, you know, Shirley, come on back to Memphis. She stayed in St. Louis for a few years. Well, she, she, she really fell in love with Dallas. And uh, now I thought she was paying stories on stuff. I think when she, was it you, we went, we had to go and bring her stuff back to Memphis, story, and put it in story. And uh, she wanted to be near her family because Shirley didn't have any children of her own. When she came to Memphis, she adopted you all, Win Wincha and Shirley. I'm going to say Wincha and Lily, excuse me, because she stayed with them for a while. And she came attached to her family, Junior, Michelle, and then the other kids. She was friendly to everybody. Shirley was always spreading love. She really had that. She had, she had that special nature like my mom had. Uh, it was just something about her family, her sister and brothers that I in me. I, I want to have that kind of relation with my family. And mother on her dying bed, she told her, Keep the family room rolling. Y'all be good to each other. Get along. That was her instruction. And uh, I, I don't believe we'll fail our mother. Now it's just Lily and I left. And Lily and I will close, but Paul and Shirley, they were buddy buddies. Those kids, Aunt Shirley, the young man there, when he heard about it, he just couldn't take it. They said, well, calm down. She's in a better place. Because I do believe Shirley and the Lord, I do believe she was a child of God. And that's something we need to be concerned about today. I know there's a lot of things going on now. A lot of folks don't believe in Jesus and all this other stuff. You know, getting hooked on all this stuff from the east and everything. But I'm telling you, from what I know, it's straight. It's some things you're going to find out about it, but God loves us, and he put us here for purpose. He does. Amen. Uh, certain uh, with some words of inspiration. Um, I'm going to close it out with a few remarks, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get a day going. I haven't heard nothing that wasn't true about my auntie. She was what I would refer to as a renaissance woman. She can plan. Everybody know that. She can decorate. Boy, could she decorate. I remember when, um, years ago, we went to a house in Dallas. And it was like walking through a museum. I mean, we literally had, like, African statues, Egyptian mummies. I mean, it was just like 
uh, matter of fact, the house was highlighted uh, in a magazine out of Dallas. And I can remember her being so excited that we were there. Y'all would come on in, and, and she just wanted us to be comfortable and be at home. She was so excited because, like uh, my uncle pointed out, she loved family. She really did. <clears throat> when my mother died, uh, she stepped up, and she really d did become uh, a replacement for mom in a way because she walked us through everything. She was there with uh, Zoe, Talena, and myself. Uh, my younger brother, Lily, he was a little bit young. So while we was handling and everything, I can remember going to the hospital, and she'd come in, she'd comfort me with her words and make sure I go home, get something to eat. She just stood by us every step of the way in the process of, of burying our mother. And we grew somehow even closer. She was always that auntie, you know. Aunt Shirley come, we'd run into her. She was always that fine auntie. And uh, she was like that with her friends. So if you had the pleasure of knowing her, you know what I mean when she love a good joke. Love a good joke. She can plan. She can, she can uh, um, plan and organize. And we leaned on her for that. But most of all, she can be a good auntie. As a matter of fact, she can be a great auntie. Um, it, and I, I'm going to take a little... <coughs> little um, and talk about myself a little bit. I was a kid coming up in school at Mitchell Road, Mitchell High. Uh, I struggled in school. I mean, everybody else, uh, when the teacher called up and parents come and see him, uh, they would uh, tell how well they was doing. Oh, he's good. He's smart in it. He teacher tell my mom I was a good helper. So I'm talking about I struggled. Uh, but my auntie, she stood by me. She always built me up. I mean, Nobody builds me up like her and my, my younger sister, Talena. I, I think my auntie had me ready to run for president one time. I'm the, she just go on and on, and she, she was full of confidence for those who she supported. She, she, I mean, she would support you, and like you said, she don't mind fussing. And little known fact, years ago, she was a pretty good whooper, too. <laughs> uh, I found that out many times. I mean, you go at it. I never thought she would be that auntie, though. You know, I, when we was younger, she would get that switch out and a little half voice, and she'd put a hand on the hip. Now, you heard me say this, and I'm going to do And she'll pull that belt out and get the whacking on you. So um, all of us, we, we, my auntie, uh, her sister Lily, because she was really our, I'm older than Lily. So between Lily, Nail, and myself, we, we know that part about her. She was a good whooper. But I tell you what, when you have her in your corner, you have no better place, no better person. She's going to put you up on a pedestal, and she's going to keep on the task. So I've always appreciated and thank her so much for that. And now, you know, it's okay to cry a little bit. You know, we, we cry and we act like that's a bad thing. Uh, God understands why we was crying because she was special to us. And he don't mind because if she she so special to us, we, we don't understand that, hey, if she was special to God, then we was in good company who was special to us, you know. If she's so special to God, he had to come about, so come call her back. And I'm thinking that God, she's sitting there, God, I think your throne will look better over there. You need to put the angel when you stand there and you grab it as you come out of the sky. I mean, she, oh, she up there organizing and doing her thing. She's redecorating heaven right now. So when we get there, I'm sure it's going to be a grand place to see, a grand place. Uh, so once again, I'm going to take this opportunity to thank all of you for your expressions, your thoughts, your prayers. And, you know, keep lean, leaning, letting us lean on you a little while. We need you right now, you know, this. Nothing we're going to get over with, get over with, uh, overnight, get, get over overnight. Sorry about that. But let's just keep leaning and praying with each other. We are here for each other. Shirley has gone to her just reward. We still down here in the fight. All right. So if it's nothing else to say, uh, we'll bring this to conclusion. To any, anything else? All right. So let's stand up. We'll say a prayer, and after the prayer, 
will be dismissed. O oh, Heavenly Father and Great Creator, Father, we come to you with humbleness, humbleness in our heart. We thank you for waking us up this morning with a reasonable portion of health and strength, Father. We thank you for all that you've done to you. To you, God, be the glory. God, we love you, and we want you to continue to love us. Keep us hoisted, Father. Keep us up. Help us right upright and in your name, Father. And, Father, we ask that you bless the family and friends of my Aunt Shirley. She touched so many lives. You know, Father, she volunteered and helped others. She never met a stranger. And, Father, we ask that you now use your strength to keep us strong, Father. Help us walk our travels and keep us in your grace, Father. And, Father, we ask that you protect us as we travel back to our many homes. Keep your loving hands around us, Father. These are the blessings we ask in your Son, Jesus' name. Amen. All right. By the grace of God and the Holy Spirit, rest for us now and forever. Let us all say. All right. <laughs>